Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about who's the better bet against the spread for the bowl games that are on December 26, 2016. Uh, not the greatest bowl matchups today, unfortunately, but coming up here, the bowl game should gradually progress and get better and better as we head into the end of the month of December. Uh, not the most exciting matchups here, but uh, still some solid bets to be had against the spread potentially. If you're interested in more of these bowl pick videos, or and also our um, regular college basketball pick videos, you can head over to our channel or click that subscribe button. And also if you can click that thumbs up on this video, it's greatly appreciated and really helps us out. If you're looking for more pick content, uh, you can head on over to stumpthespread.com by clicking this uh, logo in the top right hand corner of the video if you're on desktop. And we'll also link Stump the Spread in the video description. Over at Stump the Spread, you can get our daily free play over there as well as our premium picks that are across all major American sports. All right, guys, so heading into today's action, early start here, 11 a.m., we got the St. Petersburg Bowl between Miami, Ohio, and Mississippi State. Um, nobody's probably really heard much from Miami, Ohio this season, given the fact that the Red Hawks open the year 0-6, and, and not many teams that open a year 0-6 end up going on to a bowl game, but the Red Hawks were able to take advantage of a weaker MAC East slate. The MAC East was definitely the weaker division over there in the MAC Conference this year. And they were able to take advantage of that as they went on to rally and pick up six straight wins. Uh, closing the regular season out in a must-win game, they went on to beat Ball State by a final of 21-20. to Miami, Ohio didn't do anything pretty this year, but they were able to come through in a lot of close games uh, against you know, moderate to lower tier competition in the MAC, and that was enough for them to get up to that six win mark, which has allowed them to reach a bowl game, which is pretty exciting for their program, given the fact that Miami, Ohio hasn't been putting up all that great of results in recent years. This is one of the worst offensive teams in terms of the uh, squads that made bowl season, and it's going to be interesting to see if this group is able to get anything going here against this Mississippi State defense. Miami, Ohio didn't have success out of conference, and that could translate again today going against a tougher SEC opponent. It's going to be interesting to see how the Red Hawks um, come into this matchup and face a tougher opponent than what they're typically going against over there in the MAC East. So Mississippi State obviously taking a step back this year given the fact that Dak Prescott's no longer leading them and doing everything on the offensive side of the ball. Mississippi State coming in from the SEC West, which is still a very strong division in college football. This group was able to uh, pick up their final win of the regular season against rival Ole Miss and what was a really great result for them and gives them some momentum heading here into the postseason. Mississippi State said that this bowl game means something to them, and obviously that's important to have motivation coming into a bowl game. It's yet to be seen if that's going to be the case, not just for the coaching staff but the players, and it's really up to the coaching staff to get these guys in the right mindset to come out here and perform well against a less than desirable um, bowl opponent. But given the fact that Mississippi State's only won five games this year, they should just be happy with the fact that they're in a bowl game at all, uh, even if though it's not the most glamorous one. Uh, Mississippi State's going to have the best player in this matchup with their quarterback who's really put up a lot of yardage, not just through the air, but also on the ground this year. He's not quite what Dak Prescott was, but um, definitely has put up some really strong results, and it's going to be fun seeing how he uh, does in this particular matchup against a Miami-Ohio defense that, uh, even though they did put up some nice numbers in the MAC, they could have some difficulty slowing down this Mississippi State offensive attack, so it'll be interesting to see how that works itself out. Uh, we will side with the SEC's strength here against the MAC East opponent as they go on to win and cover this 13 to 13 and a half point spread. We're still under that two touchdown mark, which makes this a little bit more manageable than if we were slightly above that two touchdown mark. Even though the spread has shifted up from 11 points to 13, we still feel like Mich uh, Mississippi State is going to be the better value bet here against the spread. Moving on to the quick lane bowl, we got the Big Ten versus ACC as Maryland heads against Boston College. Maryland, uh, you know, bringing in a new coaching staff this year with Durkin, who was the defensive coordinator over at Michigan last year. He's kind of been changing the culture over there at Maryland, and this group was able to take advantage of the weaker teams that were on their schedule. 
going undefeated in the non-conference and also picking up three wins against um, very weak teams in the Big Ten that were all below Maryland in the final standings. Uh, we don't have all that much confidence in this Maryland squad, uh, especially given the inconsistencies they've shown on the offensive side of the ball this year. And here they're going against a Boston College defense that clearly isn't as good as it was uh, the year prior, but still a team that leans on their defense for success. Maryland's also another team that's leaned on their defense in the games that they've gone against weaker competition. And this is likely to be a very low-scoring game, just given the fact that both of these offenses have put up really poor numbers this year and compared to their defenses, which have been the strength of both of these teams. This is a Boston College squad that, interestingly enough, lost their defensive coordinator last year to Michigan, and that was because Michigan's defensive coordinator took the head coaching job over there at Maryland. But um, Boston College has continued to be solid on the defensive side of the ball, more so in their uh, easier matchups, very similar to what Maryland has done this year. You know, Boston College the year prior was the top-ranked defense in college football. Uh, they've really fallen back from that particular ranking. They're in the 40s right now. Um, but you were expecting this group to take a step back just given the fact that they brought in a new defensive coordinator and also they had some key guys from that defense the year prior that moved on uh, from the program in, uh, to graduation. So... This should be a really low-scoring game in the Quick Lane Bowl, not the most exciting matchup by any means, and especially given the fact that points are likely to be coming at a premium, it really makes this one not the most desirable game to watch by any means. Boston College, uh, for them, they really closed the year playing, um, you know, picking up some wins that they needed to get to that uh, win mark that they needed to get bowl eligible. This is a squad that we do value their defense a bit more than this Maryland squad and really think that they can shut down this Maryland offensive unit. On the other side of the ball, Boston College, at least they have some kind of option at the quarterback position with the uh, Patrick Tolls, who transferred over from Kentucky this past offseason. He hasn't put up very strong numbers this year, but he is a guy that, when given the opportunity, can at least move the ball down the field. Um, but Boston College needs to give him that chance. And in what should be a low-scoring game, Boston College probably only needs about two to three touchdowns to have a really strong chance at winning this one. In a competitive matchup, this one has shifted from Boston College being two-point favorites to them now being one to one-and-a-half point underdogs. We feel like the Eagles getting the points here is going to be a pretty solid bet. Even if they lose by one point, they could still potentially cover the spread here based on uh, where you get this spread at. But we do feel like Boston College has just put up a not even necessarily better overall work of their resume this year in comparison to Maryland, but uh, they have some more, um, you know, quality wins against moderate competition while Maryland, all of their wins have come against some pretty poor competition. So we do feel like Boston College is the better bet here, getting the points uh, against the spread. And just one more matchup that we want to talk about for today's bowl games, and that's going to be the Camping World Independence Bowl between North Carolina State and Vanderbilt. Here we have the SEC against the ACC, this Vanderbilt squad. It, they're really doing things the right way over there, building things up under their current coaching staff and really you know, trying to get the fan base involved and really you know, supporting this team as they try to do things the right way over there in the SEC. Fortunately for Vanderbilt, they're in the more manageable SEC East, which has really fallen off in recent years and has made it things, um, you know, more manageable for some of the lower teams in the conference like Vanderbilt and Kentucky to pick up some wins uh, more consistently. Vanderbilt has picked up some decent results this year and really closed the regular season playing some of their best ball of the year, which is a really great sign for the squad as they head into the uh, postseason. Vanderbilt another team that's really leaned on their defense to have success this year. This is a Vanderbilt defense that is one of the better units in the SEC when you consider the fact that Vanderbilt's offense wasn't able to do all that much consistently on the offensive side of the ball. Vanderbilt does have a really strong running back in Ralph Webb, who's asked to do a lot with this unit. Uh, he's gained over 1,000 yards this year, and he could be a difference maker for the Commodores in this particular matchup. Uh, going against this North Carolina State squad that was very hard to get a read on this year, they would have really strong results against good competition, and then they'd go on to lose to teams like you know East Carolina or Boston College or 
you know, teams like that that you wouldn't necessarily expect them to lose to when they're able to basically beat Clemson on the road if it wasn't for, you know, a missed field goal that was about a 20 to 30 yarder at the end of regulation on the road, or even in their regular season finale, North Carolina State picked up a nice win against rival North Carolina, who um, overall has put up some really strong results so far this year. Uh, North Carolina State, not a team that does any one thing necessarily at an elite level, but uh, they do have some nice pieces on both sides of the ball. Their offense uh, can beat you both on the ground and through the air when they're clicking, but we've just seen that on not as a consistent of a basis as we'd like to see out of this North Carolina State squad. And going against this really strong Vanderbilt defense, it could be tough for them to uh, move the chains on a consistent basis. Another game that we're probably going to CB in the sco lower scoring range, um, which is another reason why today's college football bowl game matchups aren't all that great, given the fact that not only are the matchups not so exciting, but there's also a couple of the games that are expected to be very low scoring, which, uh, you know, as, I guess as long as they're competitive and are interesting at the end, maybe that'll make them a little bit more exciting. Uh, we really like how Vanderbilt closed out the regular season, again, bringing that momentum into the postseason. We expect this to be a pretty competitive matchup and getting the over a field goal here. Um, we really like this Vanderbilt squad, especially given the fact that we value their defense quite a bit more than North Carolina State's. And also the Commodores were really um, building some strong momentum here coming into this matchup. So uh, we do like the Commodores to go on to cover the spread and maybe even push for the upset as the better pick in this particular matchup. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, um, talking about the matchups on December 26, 2016, just three bowl games for this particular day's action. If you're interested in more of our bowl series picks, you can head on over to our channel or click that subscribe button. And also you can click that thumbs up. It's really helpful and very appreciated. And if you're looking for more pick content or to get our daily free play, you can head on over to Stump the Spread by clicking this logo in the top right-hand corner of the video if you're on desktop. And if you're not on desktop, we'll also link Stump the Spread in the video description. So that's going to wrap things up for us in this particular video. And we'll see you in the next bold pick video. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you then. Bye.